What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. It is Friday evening. Um, so I didn't say this in the last vlog, but I was actually supposed to be headed to Chicago this weekend. Um, one of the podcasts, guests that I had, Ruchi Gupta, uh, she's a physician at uh, Northwestern, uh, is doing a book launch party uh, for her book, Food Without Fear, um, this Sunday. The book is coming out August 24th. Um, and talks about, you know, dealing with allergies and uh, things of that nature. Uh, so I was going to go there. Uh, that was Sunday afternoon. And so I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to go there anyway, why not make a weekend out of it? So I had planned to to be in Chicago this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the weather in Boston Sunday um, looks to be... Like we'll either get a tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane. Um, they're saying around like Sunday at 7 p.m. You know, it'll make landfall near Hartford um, and then move up to Massachusetts. Um, with my flight being 8.30 on, on Sunday night, I just felt like it wasn't worth the risk of, uh, you know possibly uh, getting my flight canceled and, and things of that nature. Uh, so I ended up canceling the trip, which, you know, obviously stinks. Um, you know, it, I was looking forward to it. It would be my first time in Chicago. Um, I'd reached out to, you know, people from my high school and, and college um, that live there um, to, you know, hang out with them, grab a meal, uh, so that won't happen, but, uh, you know, um, uh, that's just life, I guess, that's just weather, so, um, yeah, the hotel refunded me for one night, um, which stinks, because I had a two-night thing, but, you know, I was late, so I understood, and then, um, both flights gave me credit back, so shout out to JetBlue and American Airlines. They gave me my credit back so I can use it. Um, as long as I use it before next year, I'm good. Uh, so that is my Friday. Um, thankfully, I'm, I'm blessed. Um, tonight is, we're doing um, a farewell party for Matt and Michaela who are moving out to Los Angeles. And so, uh, thankfully, I, I have something going on, and uh, I'll vlog that. Hope you guys are doing well. What's up guys, it's a uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, I apologize for that last part being blurry and zoomed in, uh, but I think you got my feelings. Uh, last night was great. Uh, I saw a lot of people that I haven't seen um, that went to Boston College with me and uh, it was good. It was good to, you know, a lot of people I haven't seen since 2017, maybe, uh, when we graduated, probably some 2019, uh, but it was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, it's, it's great to be around, you know, positive energy, uh, and things of that nature. Uh, I did not sleep well last night. Um... 
and overall, you know, I don't think my mental health was great today. Um, I feel like I, Grateful Living work uh, is putting a lot of pressure on me. Um, so for some context, you know, last weekend I was supposed to have like two uh, interviews and both people rescheduled and uh, you know I only have the next two weeks already recorded um, so I think I've kind of freaked out and started reaching out to a lot of people um, and you know I don't know if I've said this on here but you know most people now at this point that I reach out to is just cold you know email or um, whatnot and so you know the success rate isn't always great on those um you know i'd say for like every 100 people i reach out to maybe three say yes so um i don't know i just had a lot of grateful living stuff i had to do after work i think this week um and there's always things to do with regards to it um I'm trying to like make sure I, you know, it's interesting because I started this, um, you know, obviously in honor of my friend uh, who we lost to suicide. And, uh, you know, when I originally started, I thought, you know, maybe three people are going to tune in to an episode or something like that. Um, and obviously the, you know, response has been a lot more. Um, you know, people regularly tune in, which is, which is awesome. Um, but I don't know. It just, I don't want it ever to feel like a job and I don't want the, like it to ever feel like the pressure of, uh, you know, a job. And I just felt like this week it was. Um, so I think part of that is I'm tired and then part of that is just I'm disappointed I'm not in Chicago, um, probably. Um, yeah, but, um, you know, I'm resting, I'm resting, uh. I think the hardest part about this journey is just like there's always things on the to-do list that I could do, you know, and not letting it consume me is really hard um, because I want to put out the best product that I can. Um, and I think it's just Grateful Living's at a level I, I just never thought it would, I don't think I anticipated it being at. Um, you know, not hyping myself up or anything, but just having, you know, like the president of a university, of a major university like Holy Cross come onto the platform. Um, you know, that's a great get for me. And so I think once you get a get like that, then the expectation of people is, okay, who's next? And, you know, for me, I, I really know look at people that way, you know, um, you know, I understand obviously people have different levels of stature and things like that. Um, in terms of like, you know, there's a difference between president Obama and, you know, maybe there's some of the people that I'm interviewing in terms of impact and who they notoriety and what they've done and accomplished in their life for sure. But for me, it's, you know, I just want to make sure I stay consistent to honoring my friend and mental health. And uh, this is the first time I felt like I'm struggling with that and that I'm viewing it more as a business. Um, 
than as a side passion project. Um, and like, you know, I've always said, you know, if I can do this full time, obviously I'd love to do this full time. And so, you know, I would love for this to become greater than it is, obviously. Uh, but I guess it's just a change for me, you know. Um, but I don't want it to feel like a job. I just want it to feel like I'm doing it for fun. And I, I don't know if it's just because I got, you know, President Rougeau on and a lot of people texting me and things of that nature. That It's just now it's like, oh, who are you going to go next? Um, I don't think of people that way, but I understand, obviously, the world thinks of people that way in terms of um, notoriety. You know, I think you can always learn from people's lives. And that's why, you know, I've always... It's been a you know very eclectic uh, group, you know, because um, I view people as people as humans. So that was a long rant. Um, hopefully that made sense. But uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just I'm just resting. I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to relax my brain. Um, I'm trying to make it go back to just being fun. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I hope you're doing well. Saturday evening, I'm watching this uh, five-part docu-series on YouTube from this insurance company called Loop. Um, they're co-founded by John Henry and Carrie Ann Nadal. Um, and it's just really fascinating. They're documenting the journey of a startup um, and their process as they enter the market. And uh, I think there's a lot of learning lessons for any um, people out there that are, you know, have entrepreneurial tendencies in terms of brand um, and learning lessons. Um, and I just think they're they're a really good company to look out for in the future. Um, and their whole thing is, you know, pricing insurance not based on demographic details like, you know, whether you're college educated or not, but really just determining how safe of a driver you are and, and basing the price on that. Um, you know, and I think they're going to also incorporate a lot of AI tools to help give customers, you know, for example, uh, ideas on safer roads to travel on um, and things like that. So I definitely recommend checking out their five part YouTube series if you're, uh, you know, someone that owns their own business or has some side gigs going on. Really cool. Little, I don't think Boston is getting Henri too, too bad. Um, but here's what it looks like Sunday at 9.20 a.m. Did some grocery shopping. And now I'm gonna organize my cabin a little bit. Here is the after. Two o'clock, uh, not too bad for Henri. Got a mile run in.
But we're the Earth, Wind, Fear, and Care brand on that talk show, and we're hosting it at Room for a Week. This is our second. Guard Grand, I hear beautiful view. sweatshirt from Viv for your V. Uh, they are a earth friendly period care company. Um, for all the women out there, definitely check them out. <laughs> 